Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just, I just had to, to, to kind of put out, uh, <laughs> a video about a few cool things. Um, obviously I had, I had one of the best training days I've had, um, yesterday with Rickard Bornman, who let's just, let's just be clear is I'm, I'm Matt Connolly came up with the name last night. I, I said to Matt Connolly, I said, he's the one. And he said, he's, he's Neo. And I couldn't agree more. Uh, it's, he's like that. He's, it's it's that kind of do you believe it now? Trinity is starting to awaken to his power. Um, he's different. Uh, I can't move him a millimeter in any direction from anywhere. The gap between us was really made evident yesterday when we trained together, not only just on the table, but we went to the gym. And I mean, fundamentally, he's such a strong human. He's got a big base power everywhere. But when we got home from this big long gym session, we did we did a high side pressure test on the the Krasimikos, the Dean of Pulley over there, and he moved 71 kilos of high side pressure with such better form than I could do 56. I was struggling with the 56, and it was hurting, and it was painful, and my form was about one-third as good as his was on 71. Shows you the gap between he and I. It, 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 he can let me have anything anywhere on the table and can pin me. I can't... There's not a lane that I can even get a single stop um, which is phenomenal. Like I, I've, I've pulled a lot of good arm wrestlers. I've pulled a lot of good arm wrestlers and, and I can get stops on a lot of good arm wrestlers, at least be seen to be in the battle. I mean, and I, and I can't, there's nothing, there's nothing. Um, so yeah, he will make, he will make an international debut soon. Um, I, I, I assure you of that. He will. Um, but that, really does excite me I, I love it I, I'm truly excited to 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 be able to be close to his journey and uh, get to help him along the way and to be dragged dragged along myself the other cool thing is my body weight under 100 kilos for the first time thank you Paul Lynn um, Paul Lynn has been the real catalyst for this mental shift for me um, I once upon a time said that I would never be below 100 kilos again um, where I don't know spending time with Paul in Dubai and just growing, learning, adjusting. Um, I've found a place where I'm mentally thriving in this process. I'm still hitting PRs in the gym daily. Uh, I'm training explosively as opposed to um, what I used to do in my gym. And and I'm my workout intensity has gone up across the board. And the fat seems to be melting away. I'm eating uh, approximately. I'm eating to. I mean, look, I'm eating to appetite, but 70% of the calories I'm eating are coming from meat. Then there's a bit of carbs on the side, a bit of vegetables on the side. Um, I'm not getting no calories in liquid, and and it's and it's all going really well. And so, Paul, then a big big shout out, thank you to you for your influence over that so far. Um, and the other random cool one I had to say, uh, something that happened this morning was Mike O'Hearn randomly shouted me out on Instagram. Mike O'Hearn, we all obviously know who Mike O'Hearn is. Um, I'm, I've been a big fan of Mike O'Hearn's for a long time. Um, and he shouted me out on his Instagram and I'll put the link to the article in the description. He, um, he, he wrote an article or he was in a podcast, whatever it was, but I saw that and left a comment and his podcast was really about loving what you do is more important than following the popular science of what sets and reps should be expected in order to build strength. And I couldn't agree more with that. I know that over the 11 years I have been involved in arm wrestling, I have not followed the popular science of sets and reps of strength progression. but. I have loved arm wrestling for the entire 11 years and I have never stopped because I love the arm wrestling and because I love just the, the, the joy of the sport, the process of training. And because I've never stopped, my results after 11 years, relative to my start point, are significantly, profoundly better than they would have been if I had have just from the get-go tried to follow the perfect regime. And the reason it is better this way is because I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have loved what I was doing and I wouldn't have stuck with it. So s loving what you do, and this ties into what Devin Larratt used to say on his uh, tours when he used to come to Australia back in 2014 and 2015 and whatnot. He used to say, love the sport, don't get injured and never stop. They were his three key 
components. And so everything Mike said was was along those lines too, and I couldn't agree more. But so it was really cool to get a random shout out from Mike. He started following me on Instagram and all that sort of stuff. So um, that made my day. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share a few random little cool stories. Uh, go follow Rickard. He's a monster. We all love Paul, man. He's cool. And Mike O'Hearn, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. You made my day. Who knows? We might get Mike on the uh, the arm wrestling table someday in a collaboration. But, um, hope you guys are well. See ya.